Hey guys, it's Issa and Julie and today we are doing a what's in my grooming kit. This has been requested in the comments a couple times. We thought it'd be really fun to do. And so yeah, let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> so I use a grooming <laughs> kit that is like plastic like and box. it's hard and there are like there's a handle with little hole things and I put duct tape on it and on this side it says and Zara. My mom got it for me because I went clear on like a cross country round when I was like <laughs> 10. So it's quite old but I mean these are really good. They're like really expensive. You can pretty much find these at any tax store. My grooming kit is a 31 bag. Um, back when 31 was like really popular, my everyone at my barn like had these in like the bigger totes and my mom got me this and it has my name on the front in purple, our barn colors are gray and purple. And I've had it for a long time and I love it. It has like so many different pockets and it's huge and so I can fit so many things in it. Well I'll go first and we did not clean these prior so this is actually like what we keep in our grooming kits. Yeah, I have so much random crap in here. <laughs> it's really gross. <laughs> well first things first, I have a curry comb. It is just the classic rubberized like circular. Circular. What I use for a curry comb are these like grooming and bathing mitts. Um, I have two because this one I use for her legs, it's like a lot dirtier, you could, it's so gross because it's really muddy right now. And this I use on her body and face because I don't want to get like all the dirt from her legs on her body. And then I have a more normal curry comb, this is like the Oster one. I have another Oster curry comb, this is like the really flexible one, it's for their face. I used to use it on her face all the time before I got my little mitts. Next I have a dandy brush, which is like stiff, hard. Dandy brush, like people use different terms for it. My hard brush is just this like pink one. I love it so much because it's really like large and the bristles are pretty flexible so it like really gets the dirt off really easily. And it's just from Tractor Supply. It doesn't even have a brand. Next I have my body brush and this one I tend to use as my dandy brush. Um, so this is supposedly, cause it came in like a, a set and this is supposed to be the body brush, but honestly, which is like the soft brush, but honestly, this is like what I would it's use as a dandy oh. brush. I know. And so I use it like kind of as a dandy brush, but it has like the strap. I have two finishing brushes. This one is by Oster and this one is by Winner's Circle. Um, I just use this as a soft brush. I don't use it that often. And I put this in here because when I was clipping her. Okay, this is the one that I actually use as a soft brush. I don't know what brand it is. Some girl in my region gave it to me. Her mom did. And so, yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, it is made out of horse hair, but like they didn't kill the horse, okay? It's just like its mane or tail. So it works so well and it's so soft. I absolutely love it and it just like, mm. Next I have my collection of combs and brushes. <laughs> it's just kind of embarrassing, but Penny has a really thick, long, like luxurious, tail. So I have a wide tooth comb which like people use too for like detangling. And it's supposed to be really good and like not break any hairs. And this is just like an Oster comb. It doesn't work well for detangling. I don't know what brand it is again but I wish I did because I want to tell everyone about it. It is like the best brush in existence. I got it at Chat Supply. Go get one if you can because it like separates. It <laughs> like it has all these little sections so like if you're brushing it and like a tangle gets stuck, it just like separates with the tangle and like allows for more room. And so it doesn't rip the hair out, it just kind of like stops and then you can like take it out. And then I have this, which is my tail tamer. It really doesn't work at detangling. I just use it like in her mane and forelock. So I only have one and I used to use, um, I had to open a window because it got like hot in here. So there's a little bit of a breeze. I don't have like a fan, so, like a Beyonce effect. <laughs> Um, it's a Marshalls, yeah, it's a human brush, but I really like it because Zara literally like there was no bristles on my old one because so they bad. all broke off. It's just like nice. <laughs> Next I have my face brush. It has a little heart in it <laughs> and it is by Tail Tamer also oh. and it is um goat hair I think. <laughs> goat hair? Yeah, when I first got it, like it still is, but when I first got it, it was literally the softest thing I ever touched. Like. <laughs> Words don't even describe. And I love it, it's so cute. I have this like shedding blade thing, which in the fall, Penny always like sheds her summer coat and then grows in her winter coat. 
But I don't actually need to use it this spring because I have full body clipped her again. I have scissors in here. This isn't really for Zara. It's just for like you need scissors like especially when I'm at like a horse show or rally. Next in this large middle section, I have a pair of spurs. These are just like little like Tom Thumb spurs. They're really tiny. I don't use them. I use them normally at shows. Next, I keep two black Sharpies because when you need to label something, it's just right here. I don't know why I have two, <laughs> but I don't know. Sharpies are very convenient. When Isa and I went to Rolex last year, they in all the little like tap stores and stands, they have free stuff everywhere. So if you're going- It's the best thing like, ever. Look for bowls like sitting out because there's always free stuff in it. Platinum performance bar. It's like this treat bar and it was so amazing. And we got two a piece. Dogs at the bar and like ate half of it. And these things would be so expensive. And then I just have a crop. Because I normally ride at the dressage whip, but it shows they're too long and it's by Black. And it's just great. Alright, so next I have my hoof pick. Oh, we got this at Rolex. Oh, yeah, too. we got this at Rolex too. It was free. It's, I think my old one, like, yours was so gross. It was not cool. So I was like, I bought like three new hoof picks one time because they kept breaking, like, the pick part. So that was all in, like, this first section, but on the other side of the handle, I have my boots. So these are my open front boots. They are from they're Dover. Just, like, so Dover they're the Dover brand. brand. And Julie has them too, and I love them so much. Like, they have, like, they just, I don't know, I love, like, generic brands so much. I don't know why, but they're, like, matte, and then they're, like, shiny, nice little detailing in the back. I, like, switch out my boots and the open front boots, and then sometimes I use split boots, and sometimes I use polos. But currently, I'm using open front boots. All the stuff I just showed you, except for the hoof pick, was in this big main pouch. This little section is my hoof pick, my face brush, which I believe I also got attracted to. Like, look at how dark it is, and then look at the actual color of it. <laughs> it is so gross. And it also, as well, like, when her, she first got hers, was so soft. Next, I... Well, okay, so I used to put this medicine on Zara, and I would put that in here, but I switched it out, and now it's like... But it's so gross. It's so I old. put my Farrier's Fix hoof oil oh, and I love one. this stuff. It, it smells too. so great. Wait, it smells like minty. It's like hard to explain but it honestly like, like spearmint. you smell it and you're just like ah oh, summer horses. Like when like, Issa put it on like every time in the fall she put it on I was like is that your hoof oil? I, I like this stuff a lot. I would recommend it. And then in this other front pocket right there I have a pair of scissors. Hey hey! I just bought them at Walgreens because like I need scissors. I have a sharpie because you know, as you said, you gotta label everything and just like, it's great. And I have a phone armband. This probably wouldn't even fit my phone. Oh my god. Because yes. I got a new phone. I used to have one of those in mine too. They're really great for if you're riding outside and like your breeches don't have pockets and listen to music or if you are riding by yourself and want it for like safety reasons. So the last thing I have in my Kirby kit is, okay, so I have these gloves that are warm and thick-ish. They're from Costco. And these are so nice because they're like, they're not for riding, but they have like stickiness in the palm and they have touchscreen fingers. I use them when I ride because I don't own like winter riding gloves, but they work really well. And then for my normal black leather summer riding gloves, I got these recently. I love them so, so much. They're from Noble Outfitters. How much they make me so happy. Back, there's three pockets. Um, in the first one, I have these. This is just gonna stay there and hit um, you. <laughs> uh, this is pockets. a. Oh, these are bit whites and ah. Oh! Okay, these are bit whites by Horse Amor. Um, Amor. Horse Amor. I don't know. Horse Amor. I don't know how to say it. Like a foreign language translator. Oh. Peppermint bit whites. <laughs> I believe I put these in a haul before, but they are great. They smell like peppermint, as you would think, and they just clean your bit so well. And if you clean your bit with like a normal like wet washcloth, it like cleans it, but this like shines your bit. It's like so great. As you can tell, this is so clean. I keep a lot cleaner than Issa's. Um, whenever it starts to get really dirty, like I need to wipe it off really badly. This is oh, the- Oh yeah, yours is so dirty I compared to that. How did you get it? And this is the Azorbine Hoof Flex uh, Therapeutic Conditioner. I don't really like love it or hate it, but um, I bought one of Issa's because it smells so good. And so I'm super excited to use this up because then I can use that one. And then in the last little pocket on this side, I have 
tough one braiding bands and typically in like this pocket in the summer I have baby oil for like softening her chestnuts in this pocket on the side these are really great pockets because they're like stretchy I had like three pairs of gloves in this pocket at once I have like seven no I have like six <laughs> pairs of gloves it's kind of a problem these ones are both Rokals these ones are the winter ones and they have like fleece on the inside. I got them for Christmas. And then these are just like the normal Chester ones. But in the summer, I have the normal ones and the summer ones in here. For my winter gloves, these are a Christmas present from like a family friend. These are the Armadillo like winter gloves. It's so warm. And they're really nice. Um, I obviously don't ride in them because they're like super thick. Oh, oh, I have a flashlight. Wow! Oh this yeah, is, this is mom. This is working. mom got me this flashlight for Christmas. Because she's like, it's always dark at the bar when you take your horse out, so I want you to like, have a flashlight. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and be sure to like and comment and subscribe and tell your friends to subscribe. Follow us on Instagram, because, you know, we have raw videos. Yeah, we have writing raw videos on. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed. And we will talk to you guys next time. Bye! Bye! <laughs>